so hey everyone welcome to the channel and in this video we are going to see how we can set up git a version control system in windows 11 alongside it with we are going to set up the default terminal profile in vs code to the git bash so let's start go in your favorite browser and search for git download the first website you will be redirected to is the git.scm.com and here you can see it just click on the git download in the downloads page you can see you can download this git scm for mac os windows and linux operating system currently we are in windows so i am just going to click on the windows here you can see you can download git for 32 bit windows setup as well as 64 bit git windows setup i'm just going to click on the 64 bit git windows setup let and you can see the git is getting downloaded so let's go in our downloads directory you can see it's near about 36 39 mb downloaded and the total setup is about 58 mb it is downloaded successfully i am going to close the browser and let's open our file explorer and in downloads tab you can see git 2.41.0 64-bit is there so just right click on it and run it as administrator so windows will pop up for do you want to apply these settings so just click on it and you can see the git wizard is open so here all the license terms and conditions of the git you can read just click on the next so you will get the this directory that is git program files and git you can see in this directory all the binaries of git are stored so just hit on the next here if you want a desktop icon you can check it for the git then you can check it if you want daily updates for git windows and also check this option add the git bash profile to windows terminal so i am going to click and check mark both this app settings click on the next and you can see in every pro project the git is git folder is create will create so after that hit on the next use git okay you can see the list of git device okay just click on the next okay git from command line and other third party softwares yes we want just hit on the next use okay browser shell open ssh click on the next then use the open ssl library okay then you can see all the settings and you just need to click on the next and check the setting whatever the default available just hit on the next hit on the next hit on the next and now you can see the installation is started extracting the files okay git is installed successfully i am going to uncheck this view the release notes and just i'm going to click on the finish so we have installed git successfully in your start menu you can see git bash and git cmd as well as if you right click and uh, you can see in the context menu you can see git bash and git gui so let's open the git bash you can see this is the terminal same as the linux terminal or linux subsystem for windows if i do ls you can see all the files and folders in my desktop so let's open the vs code and here you can see in vs code terminal this is the vs code terminal and you can see the default profiles are powershell or command line it depends on various cases so you can change the terminal to git bash from here but we can set this as default permanently so open your command palette by Control shift p and search for select and you can see select default profile 
just hit on it select default profile you can see the second option git bash and now you can see the git bash is your default terminal if you open new terminal you can see the default terminal is git kill all the terminals and try with new terminal you can see git is the new terminal so let's run ls and you can see we are able to list all the directories in vs code as well okay so this is all for this video if you find this video or this content helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe we will meet you in the next video with such awesome content till then happy coding